Ruin versus Mael. None can escape my fury. The light shall bring victory. All right, as you can see, we are playing Silence Priest on the standard ladder. We've got probably the best opening cards we could have hoped for. We will drop the Cabal Song Stealer in the hopes of something better. Maybe a Purify, but uh, these are really good. Lyra is really good as well, so happy to have her in my opening hand. If this is Quest, it's not. Or maybe it is. It's hard to say. Okay, we do have a clear next turn. So we'll save the coin for that. Now, too bad we're going to float one mana, but it is worth clearing these off now. Next turn, we've got the Humongous Razor Leaf. The turn after that, we can silence it and play the Cabal Talon Priest. Now, we do not play the Silence here, because there's no reason to waste a card on this yet. We can't get any use out of it if we silence it right now. For example, if he was to sap it after we silenced it, we would have just wasted our silence. So we want to wait till we can actually do something, like attack, before we actually cast the silence on this. Okay. Silence first, then buff it with the Cabal Talon Priest, otherwise we would lose the buff. Now with a 411 out, he pretty much needs to sap it, otherwise he's never killing it. There we go. Sap down. That's fine though, we can play it out again next turn. And an eviscerate down, that means the eviscerate's not going phase, so I can be pretty happy about that. We'll put down both of these, since we have Defender of Argus targets for next turn, if we need them. And we will probably Shadow Visions, looking for one of our many silences. We still have three silences in the deck. That's a large number of our spells. And by that I mean we have two cards that are Purify, and one card that is Silence. So we have three spells that will allow us to silence our minions. Okay. Well, Spine Slayer, I'm glad to see that that card is actually seeing play. We'll start by drawing a card and hoping to get a silence that way. Okay, we did not. If we Shadow Visions, then we can only discover the one of silence. I think it's pretty important that we get that now, so we'll have a look for it. And we got it. Thankfully, we got it. Okay, we'll see how he responds to this, but we're looking to set up Lyra sometime soon, preferably once we've drawn one or two more spells. Okay, well, with the Burgly Bully up, we probably don't want to Lyra yet. So we could play an Ancient Watcher and Defender of Argusit. He's already used two saps, so it's going to make it difficult for him to get through. If we're doing that, we do not want to taunt the Northshire, because he gets a nice easy trade on it if we do. Unfortunately, that means the Ancient Watcher is going to have to be in the middle, which is weak to backstab, but 
Most people don't run backstab, so we're gonna assume we're safe. If he does not have a way to get through this cleanly, then we probably will play Lyra. No, if he had the second uh, Foul Spine Slayer, that's a bit of a problem for us. And he's able to clear the minion. Okay. This is a bit of a problem. So we could Ancient Watcher and Cabal Talon Priest the Ancient Watcher. Must consider... If we're doing that, we should probably silence it before we Cabal Talon Priest it. I know I said earlier not to silence this when you play it, but we need the extra health on it, and that means we need to silence before we do that. So there's always exceptions to rules. And of course, the silence does give him an extra coin, but. I don't think he can actually make good use out of it. You wish to live forever. And we're saving the Shadow Visions for when we play Lyra. But we want a couple more cards to be able to pull that off effectively. Otherwise we're going to be using too much mana when we play Lyra. So we're, we're really looking for one of those uh, Radiant Elementals to reduce the cost of our spells by one. Okay, if he can't kill our 3-4, then we can finally kill the Burgly Bully, which would be fantastic for us. Okay, we're gonna uh, go in on Lyra now. These are both good, but I think we're going to go for the Divine Spirit. And we'll play this one so he doesn't know what we got. Now with both Saps gone, and both of his Vile Spine Slayers gone, he would need something like Assassinate to get rid of this. Oh, or he could discover a Shadow Word Pain. That would be pretty unfortunate for us. We are kind of indebted to the Lyra right now. We need her to stick around to have a hope in the game. Okay, Purify doesn't do it. Alright, he's going face. Let's see what we get. I don't think we need... Although, if we go for Shadow Form, we have one more chance at the Inner Fire, which would be lethal. So, let's have a look. I don't think we'll need the heal. Alright, we didn't get it, but next turn, perhaps. Oh, I suppose another card that he could have would be in Venom, so that his weapon has poison, then he could hit the Lyra. That would be something to worry about. Okay, we'll start with the Power Word Shield. Okay, the Radiant Elemental is pretty good. Let's see if we get anything 
good with our free spells. Okay, we're just cycling right now, looking for lethal. Okay, we don't have any targets for that. I suppose we should Shadow Word Horror, so we will attack here first. It will kill our Radiant, but that's okay. Because really all we're doing right now is trying to find lethal through an inner fire. He discovered a Cabal Chemist, which gives him a random potion. I suppose he could get Blast Crystal Potion, that would uh, clear our Lyra. He did not, he got healing though, elongates the game. Unless we get our inner fire, because that's just way too much damage for him to heal through. Okay, once more. I think we will uh, we'll take this trade first. I think if we silence this it will return to him. That's fine. There we go. Inner fire. Took us a while, but we got there. Alright. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.